let's see if we can do anything about this noisy color wheel. I'm just going to try blasting some of this uh, contact cleaner uh, with uh, lubricant into it. Let's just see if that does anything. Let's see if this will actually go in. Now try spinning it. Probably have to fill the uh, motor can up and just let it soak in for a while. Let's give that a try. That's been soaking for a while. That should be hopefully a bit more lubricated now. One thing I noticed on this was uh, how the connector has been discolored. It just gives you an idea how much, how intense the UV light is around there. The the outside of that connector was originally white. Uh, like the inside, but it's been discolored and the wires have been uh, damaged here as well, it looks like. Come on. Anyway, let's put this in and try it out. Sounds worse than it did before. It seems to be having problems uh, regulating the speed as well. This thing may not be repairable, unfortunately. I'll let it soak some more and see if it works any better. Try some WD-40 this time. That should be enough. That is, I'm pretty sure that's filled up. And let this sit for a while and then maybe I'll spin it a bit too. I'm going to have a go uh, vacuum impregnating this uh, WD-40 into it. Uh, I've got an old refrigeration vacuum pump here. Uh, and this uh, thing is full of uh, WD-40 inside this bottle. So let's pump a vacuum and release the air back in and see if it uh, pushes oil up into the bearings. Gloves on just in case the uh, glass would have break. vacuum but it should be pretty good. And then let's let the air back in. And now let's see if that uh, actually did anything. And that does seem to spin a little bit better now. Let's uh, give it another try. Hey, that's a lot better. Although the speed regulation still is not working right. Maybe now it's found it. Nope. It doesn't seem to be working right. I'll have to blow all the stuff off the outside and see if the uh, that light sensor will start working properly. Ah, there we go, now it's working. Seems it was just some uh, WD-40 covering the sensor causing the problem. That's much quieter now. Okay, I got the mirror or uh, color wheel cleaned now. Also cleaned the uh, optics a little bit. Unfortunately, got a little bit rubbed this front surface mirror a little bit too hard and 
rubbed off a little bit of the reflective coating, and for, but uh, I don't think it'll affect it that much. Anyway, let's start putting this thing back together. Okay, that's all back together again. Um, and for the previous video, a bunch of people had asked when was I going to show the uh, DMD chip. And actually, I already did. At the end of uh, part two, I was showing it. Um, for those of you who don't know, uh, DLP stands for Digital Light Processing. And that's sort of the name for this whole system. And DMD stands for Digital Micromirror Device, which is the actual uh, chip that uh, has the microscopic mirrors on it that produces the image. Let's have some fun with this lamp before putting this TV back together. There we go. And this produces a lot of ultraviolet, so make sure to put some eye protection on. Flickery. Probably a good idea not to aim the camera right at it either, it might damage the sensor. Now that's getting bright. Look at all those little blips there around the on the wood right in the center. Must be the uh, mercury in the lamp vaporizing. Compare the brightness. Let's find something to put in front of this thing. Hmm, it's buzzing. The light must be uh, flickering. What else? I don't know what else would cause a buzz like that. That's definitely as powerful as a Fresnel lens in the sun. <laughs> Let's see what else we can do. That's not doing very much. Looking through this welding shield, you can see the uh, arc. I'm not sure if you can see them, but you can see the glowing red uh, electrodes as well. Yeah, you probably can't really see it well on the camera. You can see it better in person. Let's see what this will do to something that's reflective. Sort of like what a Tesla coil or an arc will do to it. Well, not really Tesla coil, but I've seen arcs from a neon sign transformer do something just like this. And just for completeness, here is the lamp shutting down. And the electrodes are cooling pretty quickly. And here's the power consumption of this TV while starting up. Okay, lamp just ignited. 
So the control circuits took about 40 watts, even without the lamp running. And as the lamp warms up, it takes a bit more power. And that's pretty much fully warmed up now at about 100, almost 170 watts. Okay, that's enough burning for now. Um, I think I'm going to put this TV back together and try to sell it on Craigslist. And if I can't get at least about 100 bucks for it, then I'm just going to take it apart for parts. This uh, lamp is basically a uh, Fresno lens plus sun uh, without, without needing the sun. Anyway, hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching.